So you've moved on to Meadowcroft. Yeah, spike jars of baby food in supermarkets with broken glass. Previous employee with a grudge for unfair dismissal. Laura? So I did nothing. Look, you don't have to stay here. I do. Where is she? I can't even help her. Reference corresponds to a public phone box in Douthwaite Park. Right, get down there, Kev. Keep an eye on it. I want the registration numbers of all the cars that use that parade of shops and a detailed description of anyone that uses the phone box. And on your way past, tell Brandon's secretary I want to apply to the Home Office. We need that phone box bugged. Advert in the personal section. I have to be at grid reference at 16.30. It's a phone box. Jordan. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've already read it. No, no, no. It's personalised. Before in the envelope, it was Bradfield Police, but now it's... Jordan. Or maybe it's to fit in with the personal section. The singling you out. Asking you to come along without your friends. Don't you think I should? Looks like the game started, Carol. Tommy's right. What if this guy tries to abduct you? You're cool. I'm in. 16.29. Anything unusual? No, it looks quiet. Now, don't forget, this person's not going to give you long. Just keep it unemotional, Carol, and repeat the instructions they give you. That way, if you get anything wrong, you'll comment. Oh, sorry, thank you. <clears throat> Here we go. One, two, Carol Jordan. Carol Jordan. Carol Jordan. Bastard. That's what it's all about, Carol. Leading you on, frustrating you. It doesn't make it any bloody easier. We've got a trace on the call. Another call box on the other side of Douthway Park. I've got some uniform boys going over there now to seal it off.
should have gone alone. Jordan, I wanted you alone. You lost. No one listened to me. Make no difference. You were his excuse, Carl. I thought I could trust you. I had to let Sweet Hattie go. She left me on the main Bradfield to Holborough Road, the B7849. 50 meters past the S Ben. An entrance to a farm, 10 meters on the left, a gate. Follow a fence on your left to the end and turn right into the field. 30 paces ahead of you. 30 paces, yeah? The most recent victim has been dead for about four days. Been in this location for the last two. Death was caused by blunt trauma to the back of the head. I'm well, not strangled, not asphyxiated? No, no, definitely not. I'll have a better idea of the instrument used later on. So Hattie was killed soon after she was abducted? Yes. The other victim died in the same way. Difficult to say when she died. Her core temperature indicates she's been kept in a freezer. Why would he keep Mika like that? Because they want to possess her. Can still have a relationship with her. He'd abducted them. He was never going to let them go. This is a person who enjoys exerting control. He's, he's full of self-confidence. Arrogant, scared of nothing and no one. But isn't it interesting that at the final moment with Hattie and Mika, he's not brave enough to face their victim. They've manipulated them in all sorts of ways, but at the end, they don't want them to know death's coming. I think underneath this bravado, our person has very low self-esteem. I need to see that note again. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, if there's no semen on the bodies, check the grass. I let Sweet Hattie go, implying mutual consent, no harm. I was looking after her, caring for her. Perceived relationship. She was safe with me. Safe with me. Three bucks around the back of the head. This person enjoys the control of the abduction, the incarceration, and later on the body. The bit they don't like is the death, and for that they blame you. It's your fault I had to kill her. So they're randomly preying on women at bus stops? No, this person likes control. Random could go wrong. Mika and Hattie were watched, observed, and chosen. But I don't understand this doll. It's a manifestation of an adult rather than a baby. So this person has never had a normal relationship with a woman. The doll have the same injuries as Mika and Hattie? Yeah. Back of its head was painted red. Can I take this? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> 